so uh, welcome guys uh, today let's see uh, about lab experiments on so okay uh, sorry rf so actually these are already done in qcs but where we have used transmission lines instead of transmission lines we will use microchips so micro strips okay so how to simulate using micro strips in qcs we will see with an example so so first let me open a QCS here okay. so okay after opening the QCS you can see the, the component session so there are few components that are same uh, instead of transmission lines we will use only strips remain rest of the things will be the same so here uh, first we will use sources in the sources we will take power source so a simple two port uh, uh, transmission like two port network will make a two port network here so two power sources so where we will have we have to ground it so we are grounding this one terminal and we need to connect these two ports using uh, a transmission line so instead of transmission line we use uh, strip okay micro strip so that's is so in general micro strips are nothing but uh, just a copper sheet a thin layer of copper sheet with some uh, substrate is also will be present around it okay so transmission lines in this you can see micro strip okay so place a micro strip over here and then take a wire connect so yeah so we are connected you have made a, a simple connections now we need to uh, specify the properties of the substrate and the what is the width and the length of this strip because that will vary the uh, impedance of this strip okay so for that first uh, we'll uh, introduce the substrate here so for the substrate in the same transmission line thing we have substrate so just click and place it over here okay press escape so after this you will be uh, left with this one so we need to find the values for this in this experiment uh, we are taking uh, so in this experiment uh, we are taking uh, we, are, we have to make a 50 ohm microchip transmission line operating at 2.4 GHz frequency and they have mentioned that uh, they are using a dielectric uh, constant as 4.4 for a FR4 epoxy substrate okay this is mostly used in substrate actually so which has a 4.4 dielectric so and we have we want to mention also we will see why this dielectric and all comes into picture so next uh, so let's do here we need to find the width right width and length so in generally here uh, while making this transmission line using micro uh, uh, using transmission lines the length and all vary uh, depends right uh, here also it will uh, depend but uh, here the main com main thing we need to remember is the width width and uh, sorry width of the transmission line okay so width and the uh, height that means the thickness of this trans or microchip okay so micro strip sorry so with, uh, width and thickness of this mi micro strip also uh, we should consider ap along with the lengths okay so in this case i am just uh, you like i am to make a 2.4 ghz right so for that how to find w and l we have a like a calculator called microstrip calculator we can find it in the browser i will uh, give the link in the description so and also the file for this uh, pdf file also i will uh, i will post a google drive link so you can access it uh, there so after uh, so if you want to know how to download QCS in uh, in this playlist uh, like in my channel there is in the playlist QCS you can find the first video how to install and download uh, QCS there so uh, okay so now coming to this uh, so just uh, search for microstrip calculator sorry so so microstrip calculator so the first link you can see this so when you click you have this okay 
here we are asked to enter dielectric constant 4.4 the height we are taking the height for this experiment as 2 ok so we are fixing this height or the thickness basically to 2 and then the frequency is given as 2.4 gigahertz now the uh, we are uh, doing for a 50 ohm uh, strip so 50 ohms and dielectric length is 75 so dielectric length is the beta L ok and uh, so ok mm. so after finding this uh, so one minute ok so with so we need to find both of these values w and l so we are we don't know what is w and what is l so we have given all these five parameters after giving all these five parameters just press synthesize so you will get the values for w and l okay so after this we will generally take this w and length values here uh, for this so how to edit right click on this edit properties so w so length uh, we'll just copy paste the value copy just apply okay don't don't forget to press apply if you don't press apply for example if i paste it over here and if i move also okay, even if i move also it won't change you need to press apply or at least you have to press enter so copy paste okay so you, you can see this values have changed but you need to set this uh, substrate properties also same as 4.4 uh, and this is 2 that's it so to see the s parameters of this graph you know that uh, from in the uh, diagrams we have sorry in the simulator Simulations you have S param, so just place this S parameter simulation. Right click, edit properties, starting value from 2 to 2.5. So let's take a up to 35 uh, number of uh, places, okay? Points, so press OK. Now simulate, so it asks to save the file. So I just save this over here, some trial 1 rx exp cxp1 okay change this and you, can, you will go into this directory to this other window where we have to plot the graphs so in the diagrams you can take the cartesian and just take s11 s21 at a time it's fine you can take anything just for our convenience i'm taking s1 to s22 press okay so this is what uh, we get okay uh i think there is a yeah so uh, in this diagram uh, remember this length value you need to take it as uh, this okay for 14.270 otherwise you'll get some other curves type so fine and yes, if you uh and i have taken this of this better 25 points and we get uh exact right yeah so this is how we will uh, uh, simulate this now coming to the next that is uh, uh, one. so i think this is already 10 minutes so in the next video we will see how to simulate uh, <coughs> so, oh, sorry so in the next video you can see how to simulate this branch line coupler okay so thank you for watching like, share and subscribe.